What up YouTube? Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful soft and fluffy burger buns. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So let's start by preparing a few things. To 180 grams of lukewarm whole milk, add two sachets or 14 grams of dry active yeast. Give it a good whisk and set aside for at least 25 to 30 minutes until the yeast blooms. Also set aside 60 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. Now we're going to prepare the tang zhang or the water roux which is going to improve the texture of our buns, making it more fluffy and soft. To a saucepan, add 30 grams of plain flour, 40 grams of water and 90 grams of whole milk and start heating that up. Whisk away and you'll start noticing the mixture thickening up. Continue to whisk until you achieve a consistency like so and set aside to cool. Now for the main part, to 480 grams of plain flour, add 10 grams of salt and 50 grams of granulated sugar. Give it a good whisk so that everything combines and the salt and sugar disperses throughout the flour. Make a little well in the center and add in your milk and yeast mixture. Give it a little mix with the end of a wooden spoon and then start running that through your mixer with dough hooks. Now you can knead this dough by hand but it will be a major workout but trust me it will be worth it. After a few minutes when the dough starts to come together add in your beaten whole egg and egg yolk. When separating the egg yolk, remember not to throw away the egg whites. You can use that later on in the recipe for our egg wash. Again after 5 minutes, then add your water roux to the mixture. Finally, after another 5 minutes, add in your softened butter and knead for about 10 minutes until you get a soft but slightly sticky dough. Transfer the dough in a pre-greased bowl. Now I used sunflower oil to grease my bowl but please feel free to grease your bowls with any neutral tasting oil. And yeah, I know that sounds so wrong in so many ways. Cover with a cling film or a towel and set aside to proof for about 1-2 to two hours until it doubles its size. Once proven, slap that booty. I mean, beat that dough down until it deflates. Obviously. Lightly flour your work surface and transfer your dough and form a little log. Divide the dough into 10 equal pieces. So that's about 90 to 100 grams per portion. Now form tight dough balls. I know we've been talking about balls a lot in this video. The way to do this is pinching the side of the dough and folding it into the center and repeat it all around the dough. Turn the dough ball around and cup your hands. Adding a little pressure to the dough ball, start making round motions and bring the dough ball towards you. What we're aiming to do is sealing the dough balls so when they're rising, all that air is trapped inside, ensuring that our burger buns remain fluffy, spongy and soft. Once you've formed your balls, set aside on a lined baking tray or a silicon mat.
let proof for another hour or until your balls have doubled in size. Afterwards, to the egg whites that we separated earlier, add another whole egg with a splash of milk and give it a good whisk. Use this egg wash to coat the top of the buns to give it a nice golden color. Pop your balls in a preheated oven at 190 Celsius or 370 Fahrenheit for about 16 to 18 minutes until golden. Now pop those beautiful burger buns out and set aside to cool. These buns can be used in so many ways and next time I'll show you how to make an amazing juicy burger with our own burger sauce. So tune in tomorrow to see how to make this masterpiece. In the meantime, hope you're all having an amazing day. Please like, share and subscribe and until next time, peace.